Hello Year 5, this is your English Writing PowerPoint for Monday the 5th of October 2020. In our previous learning, we've written a narrative inspired by the Highwayman poem. Um, our lesson today is to note and develop initial ideas, drawing on reading and research. So by the end of the lesson, we'll have a bank of ideas depicting an exciting setting description. And in real life, it's really important to be able to write to entertain our peers with fascinating and in interesting stories. So we're going to look at some examples of some descriptive writing describing settings. So this is an excerpt from My Sword Hand is Singing by Marcus Sedgwick. The hut stood in a strange position. The river Chust, from which the village took its name, forked in two here as it snaked through the woods. With deep banks, the rivers had spent 10,000 years eating its way gently down into the thick, soft, dark forest soil. Its verges were moss-laden blankets that dripped leaf mould into the slow brown water. But at a certain point in its ancient history, the river had met some solid rock hidden in the soil and had split in two. It was in the head of this fork that the hut stood. Now this is another excerpt from Howl's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne-Jones. It was quite a small room with heavy black beams in the ceiling. By daylight, it was amazingly dirty. The stones of the floor were stained and greasy. Ash was piled within the fender and the cobwebs hung in dusty droops from the beams. There was a layer of dust on the skull. Sophie absently wiped it off as she went to peer into the sink beside the workbench. She shuddered at the pink and grey slime in it and the white slime dripping from the pump above it. Hal obviously did not care what squalor his servants lived in. And finally, let's look at an excerpt from the Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. And Neil Gaiman, as you know, is our author focus this month. So the boy walked back down the southwest side of the hill, avoiding the old chapel. He did not want to see the place the Silas wasn't. Bod stopped beside a grave that looked the way he felt. It was beneath an oak that had once been struck by lightning and was now just a black trunk, like a sharp talon coming out of the hill. The grave itself was water-stained and cracked, and above it was a memorial stone on which a headless angel hung, its robes looking like a huge and ugly tree fungus. So as you can see with those three excerpts, they've got some really interesting vocabulary in them. They've used some nice similes and some synonyms. So I'd like you to remember those and look back at them when we're writing our bits. So here's a word map with some ideas on it about forests and woodlands. So now we're going to look at some pictures and think of some exciting vocabulary, similes and cinnamons. So I'll leave you to look at the next three slides. So when you were looking at the slides, did you think of what it would be like to be there? What sounds would you be able to hear? What would things feel like if you touched them? What smells would there be? What things would you be able to see? Maybe talk about how, whether it's warm or cold or what the weather would be like. Is it windy? Is it raining? So now I want you to have a look at um, the plan here. And I want you, there's four boxes on there and I want you to fill those out with just some initial ideas of how you could write a really amazing descriptive story setting. When you've finished it, if you could hand it in, just email it over to the Year 5 email box and either myself or Mr Evans will mark it and get back to you. Thank you.